Hi guys, welcome to RP Hub. Today I will explain you about Zeno Posta. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. So before starting with actual content of Zeno Posta, let's understand agenda of today's session. Today I will explain you how to use Zeno Posta project manager or you can see project maker in Geno Poster. Right now I am using version 7 which is 7.2.0.0 where you have to double click on install your project maker contain and after you will launch you are able to see this page where you can create your own workflow or the process of automation as well. Apart from that project maker, you can also see that Geno Poster application where whatever you have built is available, you can launch it and run it according to your requirement. But if you want to create your end-to-end -end step, definitely it will require your Geno Poster or project maker where you can see some of the projects are already created but if you want to create your own you have to click on any specific project startup where you can click on new project after clicking on new project you have to provide the name of your project which you are using so whatever project you have already created or by default provided by Geno Poster is available here but if you want to create your own project definitely double click on new start page so after double clicking on the project you are able to see the screen is available where you can see start node is here after that if you want to automate any specific page let's give me here gmail.com so once you will click on the gmail.com it will automatically record your steps so whatever actions you are performing here see will be recorded into this so this is the basic step so i am going to present you the basic process or basic automations in geno poster so in further part i will definitely discuss about more detailed content so let's take one example here if i want to create an account where I am clicking on create for myself and provide the name test last name is also test username if you want to add your username according to your requirement you can add it to here one two three and password let's see so one two three is not available so you have to five six so let's say this is also not available again test so again it's not available seven okay so whatever page is available i'm selecting from this so it will select auto populated field and let's provide the password here test at the reach 2020 now it's done once you'll click on the next step that will also recorded here and ask navigate to the next page so you can see the power of Geno poster we are performing the actions and same actions will be recorded in my tool so this is how it works when we are working with Geno poster tool and this is the beginning steps or the start node where if you have ended your actions it will record in this container box and after recording once you will run this it will execute your execution 
whatever you have performed or did it manually so that's the power of geno poster we don't need to write any specific code rather than writing a code we are just doing manual actions and based on the manual action it will record our steps and store it for the further run so if you can see here there are several tabs are available which which will help you to make your code visible or the code will perform as per your requirement so just like if you want to add any navigation or any conditions you can use it if else condition is also here if switch so these are conditions are available but if we want to use any touch event rise event and sweep event that is also possible so in further sessions we will dis definitely discuss about this but let's see what all components we have first we have data where several activities are available then contained analysis will contain article extraction and context recognition then list list will provide you list processing and list then tables will have table related structure where you can also use your google spreadsheet then next is browser browser contains settings and tab control after that tabs is available where you can perform these reference actions next is logic where you can use the condition and apart from using condition you can pause bad end or good end process email is also available if you want to check receive emails you can definitely go ahead and check from here emulation will contain mouse emulation and keyboard emulation so basically it will work as a your input structure where you want to use it proxy checker is also available you can check it get proxy then get request post request and http request is also available after that ftp files ftp directories ftp connection is also available which will help you to make your connection with file transfer protocol then project level activities also help you to make your project simple to look and it will not mess up your content like input settings bot interface productions and note then custom code available you can use it as a part of programming where c sharp code javascript and at the end gac reference and directories uh, shared directories are available apart from these activity you can perform several other actions like profile load profile save current profile then tools are also available in tools section you can use email processing templates enter captcha manually regex tester json key path tester javascript tester and context recognition then you will definitely take in help from the geno poster help tool or help actions where program and support actions or help actions is also available this is the recording tab which we can use it for recording our steps then restart and this is the next tab here it is resume and this will revert you back or undo operation where profile is also listed here so these all operations are available you can use it at any point of time in your system so this is all about the basics of geno poster where we do the recordings use the different actions tab properties and whatever actions we are doing same thing will be recorded in our geno poster tool so that's all about the basic or overview of the application or project maker hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this video consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates don't forget to press thumbs up which will help you 
to get clear idea about this project so whenever the others will visit they will get this content more useful